Breaking news on the Diddy case. Watch These this. Politicians, athletes, international dignitaries like British royalty, Prince Harry, and music label executives. Wow. Lil Ron claims some of the biggest names in the recording industry sponsored these parties with sex workers, drugs, and underage girls. The CEO of Universal Music, Lucian Grange, is named as a defendant. So is the former CEO of Motown Records, Ethiopia, Habert Mariam, and others. Lil Rod says hidden cameras were in every room of Diddy's homes. Lil Rod believes that Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. Salacious tapes of Hollywood's biggest names, including record CEOs and politicians doing drugs and cavorting with prostitutes and minors. The complaint argues that these freak-off parties were a business model. Young and up-and-coming talent attended and were promised career opportunities and access to music executives. They were then plied with drugs and alcohol, filmed. Some were blackmailed. There was a quid pro quo, according to the complaint. Lil Rod said not only were these music executives sponsoring these parties, they were handing Diddy large sums of cash that he used to pay for the sex workers and drugs. Something tells me the IRS is going to be interested. See, you have to understand all this was talked about, that this was going to come out. Watch what Cat Williams had to say long before anything was exposed. This is crazy. Watch this. Period. Period. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. See, and that's not even the worst of it. You won't even believe that the Obamas are tied into this. See, everything is darker than you see. There is a corruption and an evil. As you've seen, there was politicians, there's Prince Harry. All these people are involved in these parties. Watch what these people say about them partying with the Obamas and having sexual encounters. And it was before the Obamas were in the White House. Public Princess. place, you did it. Is this the best or the worst? What do you do? The best. Okay, the best. Um, probably the Obama thing. No! John, what's the? Oh Obama God! Thing? Oh God! John, John, what? What? What is? What is your wife talking about? I don't know. So you have to understand that there is a dark truth and reality of what's going on in the world as you can see above me these are all the names of the people all the faces of the people that diddy's calling out that diddy's calling them out you think he doesn't have a list he had cameras in all of his rooms they set this up i've known about this stuff years ago they set this up they bring the people in they have sexual encounters with them they do homosexual stuff they do transgender stuff you have to do this stuff to be able to be either put into the industry to have fame to be able to be brought up on levels to make lots of money i'm telling you right now it is evil and darker than you could ever imagine and it's sickening as you can see the faces above me it's just sickening and of course they all got dirt on each other there is such an evil behind hollywood and so many people blindly follow these people turn from them and turn to jesus jesus is the way jesus is the truth and jesus is the life and he's willing to give life to you because jesus loves you jesus cares for you listen you can't understand the real truth when you follow hollywood when you follow the world when you follow all the evilness of the world but you can only know the real truth when you follow jesus and he says all darkness will come to light there's being an exposure of the darkness in the world so that the light can shine brighter than it's ever sh shined ever before i'm telling you step into jesus today choose jesus and listen i want you to do this for me write in the comments i choose jesus and share this with a friend